Good morning, folks. Welcome back to another day on the hard water. Uh, today, we are going to be actually doing something a little different. I love hard water, I love eating fish, and I decided we were gonna try to combine those two into uh, a whole day. So basically, I brought the stove, I brought the, all the seasonings, everything I need, and yeah, we are gonna be doing a catch and cook on the ice. It's gonna be pretty cool. I'm looking forward to this. Hell yeah, stay tuned. Hope you guys enjoy the video. All right, folks, we are recording on the GoPro. This is a lake that's fished a lot, and so there's already a lot of holes pre-drilled on the ice. And one thing you can do when you're, like a little tip, when you're approaching a lake like this, is if you notice, a lot of these holes are kind of clean here. However, there's a couple holes in specific, that one and that one over there, that have got a bunch of like reddish, uh, kind of like, a, I don't know, a reddish, it's, it's blood basically around the hole. And odds are that was from either someone spilling bait or someone catching a fish. And most likely it's catching a fish because people are usually using wax worms out here. So something to think about, you know, when you're looking at holes, if there's a couple holes in specific that are really messy, you know, that was, those were probably the top producing holes from the day before. Alrighty, I'm gonna quickly, just because I saw a mark, I am gonna move over here and start fishing this hole. It doesn't mean I'm gonna be staying here the whole time. I just wanna see if I can pick up that, that fish that was, you know, swimming by there that I saw on the screen. But after this, you know, if I don't get any bites here in five minutes, I am gonna switch over and, uh, you know, run a different hole, but. Jaw jacker. Jaw jacker is set out. There we go, there we go, there we go. There we go. There we go, the jaw jacker struck first. Whoa, frick, it's a nice, it's a nice brown. up there yes oh woo <laughs> oh yes oh. there we go folks an absolute gorgeous woo he's got energy an absolutely gorgeous little brown right there that is a perfect eater size not too big not too small so uh that is the one we are going to be flaying out and eating later Oh, that's perfect, folks. Now we're gonna go out deep. I'm still gonna keep, leave my jaw jacker in shallow to see if we can hook another one, um, but I'm gonna move out, start looking for some deeper, you know, deeper water kokanee and see if we can get one kokanee through the ice. If so, I mean, we're already gonna cook this up, but if we can get a kokanee and get a brown and a coke in one catch and cook video, you guys are spoiled today. Beautiful, one more look for you guys here. Gorgeous, gorgeous little fish. All right, let's go out deep and let's go catch ourselves a kokanee. So after catching the brown trout, I decided to move out a little deeper and search for some kokanee. I don't know why my GoPro audio just completely pooped on me, so that's why I'm doing the voiceover here. Uh, it took about an hour to find some, some good kokanee holes that held fish, but once I drilled one hole, found a huge school underneath, it was just game on from there. Holy smoke. There we're on. Ooh. Folks, we found them. I will show you what I'm using here. I was recommended by uh, the guy next to me here to use a little Swedish pimple, and I just tipped a little night crawler on the end. Probably a 1 8 one eighth ounce, drops pretty fast. We're in 35 feet of water, and basically the bottom 15 feet is just all fish. So this is fun. This is the kind of fishing I like to do. Oh. Come on. Let's go, folks. We are on. 
fish number three. Yes. Alrighty folks, the time is now 9.13. I just limited out on Kokanee, so I've got the rods up. Um, yeah, we've got some absolutely beautiful Kokanee. Those I knew I was kind of going to land because, I mean, well, this lake's just loaded. I've never really not limited. So the Kokanee weren't a surprise, but this one was certainly a surprise. That is exactly what I wanted today. So we're going to be able to do a little taste test between the two. So that'll be interesting. I've never really done a uh, two different species cooking. Well, actually I have. I did the rockfish and eel, but I rarely ever do two species at once, you know, being cooked. So yeah, they're all fresh. They're literally all still moving. That, that's how, like, for, it's not, you can't get any fresher than this. So yeah, I actually left some of the ingredients and stuff up at the car. So I'm gonna run, run over, grab them, bring them down, and we're gonna get to the cooking portion of the video. So, uh, let's go. Alrighty folks, gonna show you how I'm gonna prepare these. I'm gonna do it very simple because I'm gonna be stuffing it with lemon and a whole bunch of different stuff. So all we're gonna do basically is we're gonna start at the butt, go down, so we're gonna split the fish open here, cut the head, cut some of the tail, and then we're just gonna put that in the pan and let it cook. We're just gonna, you know, butter, spices, and a whole bunch of other stuff. So we're just gonna start here. There we go. Once you have grab, Work our way up here. You guys still see here. All the way up, All right? So we got that out now. Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put a slice right above the head here. Done. And then basically I'm gonna go over to the hole, the ice hole, that way I don't make a mess on the ice. And I'm just gonna get all that stuff out and into the water. And then actually I can do this now if you guys want here. Boom. And that right there is all we need. It's time for the brown here. Alrighty folks, got the two clean fillets. One is a lot bigger than the other, but wow, what I one thing I noticed is they both got just bright, bright orange meat. This is gonna be good. We've got the stuff cooking here. I'm gonna drop this, actually. All right, first thing we're gonna do, we've got some butter. I'm gonna put the butter on. Let it, let it melt for a little while. Boom. All right, I'm gonna keep the fish really simple. All I have in this bag here is a mix of salt, pepper, and some garlic salt. That is it, I like to keep it pretty simple. I also, grab some lemons as well. So basically all I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna put a couple lemons inside the fish here and then put the seasoning, I'm gonna put some seasoning inside and some seasoning on the top and then that's what we're gonna put to, uh, you know, to let it cook. It's, uh, it's pretty hot and ready. So here we go, we got the seasonings inside and the lemon. We're just gonna drop her in. Oh my goodness. This looks Alrighty folks, the kokanee is done. Got my plate here. I'm gonna transfer this guy over to the plate. Turn the stove off here. Stove is off, we're just gonna let it cook for 
another minute or two. Oh, man. Folks, look at that. <clears throat> Folks, 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 that looks so freaking good. So I have tried a piece of the kokanee already. It tastes pretty damn good, but I'm gonna take all the skin off on the fish and then I'll show you guys, do a little, do a color comparison and taste. What's nice is when you cook it a little, I usually like to cook it a little bit more. Um, skin just flakes right off. The nice part with the kokanee too, I don't know if you guys can see this really well, but when you cook it like that, look at this. Just fold this out a little bit right here. All I'm doing is folding it out. And the whole, look at that. Every single bone completely out. Now I have just two perfect fillets, maybe a couple bones, but they're really small. So, oh, perfect. Uh, I'm going to take one more bite of the kokanee here first. So, oh, look at this. A nice, big chunk. Oh, oh my goodness. That is... That makes me happy. All right, so I had a piece of the kokanee. Now I'm gonna instantly take a bite of the brown to see if there's a big difference. Oh, it just flakes. Here's the brown right here. Mmm. Okay, so there's not a lot of difference between these two, at least the way I cooked it here. They both taste pretty dang similar. However, I will say that the kokanee has a little bit more flavor than the brown does. The brown's a little bit more of a plain, I feel more like I'm just eating kind of nothing, um, or I'm eating a little bit, like I'm getting a lot more lemon and other flavors in the brown, and I use the same amount of stuff on each. So I'm thinking just the flavors of the lemon and stuff overpower the, the simpleness of the brown. So that is one thing I noticed, the kokanee, definitely has a a little bit better flavor to it but overall they're both still amazing i mean both these two i would eat any day of the week i technically can't fish anymore because i have my limit so i'm just hanging out it's like nine o'clock why not i'm on the water can't be any happier if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to give it a like comment subscribe share do all the stuff you're supposed to do for a youtube video and yeah hope you guys enjoyed this little comparison. I am so glad I was able to catch a brown and a kokanee so I could do this for you guys. I knew I'd get the kokanee, but the brown was pretty cool. So awesome, awesome. I haven't cooked too many fish on the water, nevertheless, none on the ice. So this is definitely exciting for me. I want to do this again for you guys because it was pretty easy. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you guys next time on Humbug Outdoors Fishing.